Hey everybody, Mike Walters with the Stern Team and Keller Williams here again for another Stern Team Market Minute. So when you go to hire that real estate agent that's going to help you through the transaction, you want to know who you're working with. So we suggest asking them at least these four questions. First question is, is are they part-time or are they full-time? Having a full-time realtor really matters in this market. With how much it's changed over the last year to 18 months, you want somebody who's been in the um, environment at a high level, and the only way you can do that is if they're full-time. So uh, work with somebody who's been doing this for an extended period of time and knows the market, okay? Second piece is, do they specialize? And specifically, do they specialize with working with buyers or sellers? And if they've been doing it for some time, they probably specialize in working with both. However, if you're working with somebody who's maybe a newer agent, find out, do they typically specialize in helping either the buyers or the sellers? Because when you specialize, you tend to have a better understanding, in this case, of the market, and you're much more skilled at helping you, the consumer, get what you want. Okay. Third question is, is how can they help you compete? And this sort of is a summary, a roll-up of the last two points, but you've got somebody who's experienced, they're going to be better equipped to go help you compete in the market. And right now the market's such where um, buyers are asking for some closing costs, they're getting some concessions. Um, and if you're a buyer agent, you want to help your buyers attain those. If you're on the selling side, you want to be able to help your seller navigate in a market that's a little bit below than where it was a year ago. So find out how they're going to help you compete and win. And lastly, find out where your buyer or selling agent specialized when it comes to price point. Okay, the last thing you want is somebody who's sold you know, $200,000 or $300,000 houses helping sell your million dollar property. It's not that they can't do it. However, the tactics, the strategies, the marketing that's required to uh, sell a million dollar home versus a $300,000 home, drastically different. If you've got any questions or want to hear more about these tips or tricks, give us a call, text, or email us. We'd love to help.